शुक्रिया थैंक यू या थैंक यू हरे कृष्ण धन्यवाद प्रणाम गुरु महाराज जी गुरुवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदानय विष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमो नम गुरुचरण कमल वंदे रमण प्रस्ताले श्रीरूपानंद भक्ति कृपामूर्ति नारायण नमस्ते गुरुदेवाय सर्व सिद्धि प्रदाय सर्वंगणरूपाय सर्वानंद विदाय जय श्री गुरो ज्ञान दीन बनंदता कर्ण सचिंद वृंदावनवासी नैतावतार प्रसीद प्रचार त्रयस्वो जगन्नाथ गुरो संसार वीना दग्धम कालदम चाह शरण गादासमुख संशक्ति सखी संग निवासी सतत वंदे परम जय नवदीप नव प्रदीप प्रभाव पाषंड जय कति स्वनाम संख्या जप सूत्रधारी चैतन्य चंद्र भगवानुरारी अजानुलांबित भुज कनका संकर्तन पितर कमलायता विश्वराजवर गाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करना काम तरंग मध्ये रूपमयी तम शरण प्रपन्न वंदे हस्ते शरण वंदे नमस्ते चरण वंदे नमस्ते चरण श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्ट स्थापित दिन भूतल स्वयं रूपा कदा सपादी कम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत श्री गदर श्रीवासादि श्री गौर भक्त हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वर्ग पावनेभ्यो वैष्णव Now, ah, uh, twenty 
ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಾಲ ತೀರ್ಥ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ then third may is the akshay trutiya ha huh? that's the when gaudi vedanta samiti ha huh? was formed ah uh, no how many days how many years ago 82 second 82 years ago <laughs> 82 years ago ah uh, bhakti ಪರಮ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆ ಕೇಶವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಓಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಮೇ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಮೇ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಮೇ other day um i think we finished the navadeep dam parikrama huh? um you know the way do we started from antardeep then ended with antardeep huh? um nityananda prabhu huh, took jeeva goswami to ಇತ್ಯಾನ ಪ್ರಭು ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ನಾವು ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಂತರ್ದೀಪ್ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತ ದೀಪ್ ಮಧ್ಯದೀಪ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ರೂಮ್ ದೀಪ್ ದೆನ್ ಕೋಲ ದೀಪ್ ಋತುದೀಪ್ ಜಾನ್ ದೀಪ್ ದೆನ್ ರುದ್ರದೀಪ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂತರ್ದೀಪ ದೇರ್ ಮೆಟೆಡ್ ಶಿವ ಸಂಗ Huh? and then he asked two questions uh if you are saying that this dam is non different from vrindavan why i should go to vrindavan <laughs> uh, then other question he asked is uh, of course for uh, by the mercy the vrindavan dam itself was manifested as navadeep dam huh? to best of mercy on the living entity huh? but chaitanya mahaprabhu has given you place in vrindavan you have to go and assist your anka upan sanatan huh? so don't delay my like that then meantime we went to vajaspati huh? vedanta uh, plan and then from went to um and now then the second question he is asking is if i see so many people living in dam especially now the dam but they don't have krishna but they have no interest uh how do we reconcile on the other hand we say you know now the dam does not take any offense estos so unconditional mercy but on the other hand how shastra says one but we see something else how do we reconcile then huh? he is answering 
there is one maya uh, if do not have faith in chaitanya mahaprabhu do not have relation with chaitanya mahaprabhu or guru varga uh, then this maya prada maya uh, will not let you stand touch the navadita it will put a like a like a jar like a, uh you know you catch a fisherman put a, like net right you catch fish like that a net some kind of a special net on the dam cover so unless we have relation if somebody doesn't have relation with chaitanya mahaprabhu guru parampara and uh, it will not let you touch the inda so the, then they will be but they think they are in navadip dam but they are not in navadip so like that huh? so we should have that anugatya huh? uh, that's why when you go to any place anywhere we have to see through the ear huh? uh and then we have to remain under anugatya uh even when there are uh, conditions uh, sadaka or uh going to spiritual one you know we remain uh servants we remain under somebody's guidance you know? so we are fortunate to be under the guidance of a guru mar so advanced so amazing you know that way we do not have any worries they will take care of all their worries our worries so that way then uh, so so at the sivas anga huh? sivas anga now yesterday was sivas appearance huh? so uh because who is sivas huh? uh pancha tatvatmakam krishnam bhakta roopa swarupakam bhakta avataram namami bhakta sakritam so uh the one tatva ekameva parama tatva that one tatva um uh, that panchatat as appeared in five form five truths huh? bhakta rupa bhakta swarupa bhakta avatar bhakta shakti and bhakta huh? meaning the shaktiman vastu you know the object shaktiman you know? arva shakti ma vastu sri krishna has appeared in five form five form in a, what is past time uh you know appear five even though is one huh? that is amazing thing you know that is <laughs> uh uh is shakti uh achintya shakti huh? uh by that that is possible huh? even though there is a duality dvaita bhava huh? like sometime you were telling from the lord's point of view is one right but from our our position it is it is like uh reality right meaning from lord's point of view swajatiya swagatiya vijatiya beda remember we were talking about differences difference in his own body like eyes and ear 
பரிந்தையுன் ஓடிவிடார் Why? Because Angani Asya Sakala Indri Urutti Manti. Krishna can accomplish hearing, huh? eating, everything through his eyes. Through his mouth he can do everything, right? Like for his mother he showed an entire Vishuru, you know, like that. His one sense is capable of doing all the other senses. Also. You know, uh, like you remember we were saying, how many points are there in a point? You know, <laughs> something like that. In his one sense contains all other senses. You get it? Ours is not, only Krishna. In his eye, it is the hearing sense is also there, seeing, knows everything. Amazing. So, uh, same way there is no difference between him and Lord Ram or Varha Narasimha. You know? Swajatiya, Vijatiya. Swagatiya, Swajatiya. Swajatiya. You know? Swagatiya, Swajatiya. Vijatiya Veda. From his point of view, the material world, everything is also non-different. Because everything under his control, every electron, every atom under his control. We gave you an example, right? Of our you know, son. You know? He is capable of in the every uh, photon. Huh? He has a command over. So how, how it will be different? But from our point of view, there is a difference. Right? So, uh, same way this five, you, you get the point, uh, huh? this five uh, way. So, um, Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, Advaita, Gadada, and Srivas. With this, there is no bed, there is no difference. No, there is no difference. But the Rasaswadan for the for testing the Rasa, huh? uh, even though it is different, huh? uh, there is no different, but he has appeared as five form. Huh? Uh, so Bhagavan Nanda Nanda, Sri Krishna himself, huh? he has taken the for the, the, the feeling of a bhakta. See, Lord sometimes desires, you know, bhaktas, you know, his devotees are so enchanted towards him, right? <laughs> sometimes, let me become a devotee, let me see how I feel, you know, <laughs> like that, you know. Yeah, that uh, loba, it is transcendental loba, you know. So, it did not fault in him. Huh? So, then he becomes Gauranga Mahaprabhu. The highest bhakta is Radharani. So, he, when he takes on the bhav of Radharani, he becomes so enchanted. Gauranga you know? so merciful. Bah, so much. That's why the devotees are much more merciful than the Lord. Huh? And the highest is Radharani. Huh? Uh, so, uh, he has appeared as Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Bhakta Rupa. Then, Swayam Prakash, Baladev. If the Lord takes on the form of Bhakta, Balram also wants to take the vow, you know, the feeling of a Bhakta, right? Let me also see. So, he becomes Nityananda Prabhu. That's why Nityananda he is so amazing. You know, he is he's, uh, he's crying, he's, he's begging everybody. Imagine the whole world is from, you know, all the jivas coming from him, all the Vishnu Tattva. Uh, you know, but he's serving Krishna so many ways his clothes, his bed, his ornaments, you know, body, so many ways. But when he comes as a bhav, as a bhakta, he becomes Nityananda Prabhu, becomes 
even more merciful than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No? No? Apparently. <laughs> uh, so he is crying, you know. Akrodha Paramananda Nityananda Raya. Abhimane Sunna Nita Nagara. Akrodha Paramananda. Dara Deke Dara Gaha Janta Gaha. Holo Gaura Hai. You tell, please cry. You tell one time, Gaura Hai, Gaura Hai. I will become, you know, you will. I fulfill all your desires. Not like that. Uh, I'll bestow you bhakti. Yes. No? Just to say, Gaura Hai. Wow. Amazing. No? So transformation. Then Advaita Chari, you know, Mahavishnu himself, but when he takes on the form of Bhakta, Bhakta Avatar, huh? bah, he becomes so much. He is capable, but he felt himself helpless. Oh Lord, he must come. He cried to see on Ganga water. He cried so hard. Lord was woke up. You know, woke up, you know. Then he saw, then he came back. No? Uh, avatar, no? So, so Advaita Chari. Then Gadada, Radharan, you know, first what to speak, Radharan. And he has come, Radharan herself has come as Gadada to see Lord is playing properly or not. No? Right? <laughs> He has taken my form, my feeling. Huh? Is he doing it right or wrong? So he is trying to correct. <laughs> you know. Uh, so like that. And then Narumani. Huh? Of course, when we say Gadadar or the Gadadar meaning, Gadadar includes Sarup Damada, Rai Ramananda, you know. Lalita Vishaka, and then all the Manjari, Rupa Manjari. Rupa Manjari is not Jiva Tattva, understand? Huh? He is uh, in my no, you know, Rupa Shakti. Huh? So the, she also gets included there. And then Srivasadi, that is all the, like Narmuni, uh, other Gaurapa So, uh, so that Srivas Pandit is is the Anta is part of the this Panchatattva, huh? meaning he is not independent. He is acting huh? he is subordinate to government office, you know, in all means. That's why uh, in four places, Lord Gaurang Mahaprabhu always appears. Uh, in the eternal appearance. Where, what are those places? In Sachir Mandir, meaning Mother Mata, uh, Mother Sati Mata house. Uh, Nityananda Nartana, uh, Srivas Kirtana or uh, Raghav uh, Bhavan. Nityananda, wherever Nityananda Prabhu is doing dancing. Nityananda Mahaprabhu is there. Because one sees or not, he is there. Huh? Then, whenever she was doing kirtan, huh? kirtan, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there. Huh? So, and then Raghav Bhavan, huh? uh, Raghav Pandit, huh? very expert in cooking. Huh? So, in these four places, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu eternally uh, appears there. So you can imagine the glories of uh, Srivas Pandit. Um, so the Srivas Pandit appeared in the Gaura Mandal, no? Sri Atta. Huh? Then he moved to Navadidha. Huh? His father was Jaladar Pandit, huh? uh, Brahmin, Vaidika Brahmin. Huh? Uh, there were five children for the, his father, huh? Yaladar Pandit. Uh, Srivas was the second son. Huh? 
his uh, elder bra- eldest brother is the nalin pandit nalin pandit's daughter is uh, uh, narayan huh? narayan is the mother of sri undavanda staff you know? who composed the chaitanya bhagavatam huh? and the sripati pandit srikant pandit are elder one the eldest one is ram pandit who is the uh, parvatmani like narmani is srivas right you have heard narmani no uh, so many lila narmani is amazing no? so he has come as srivas pandit and parvatmani was also very close to narmani he appeared as his younger brother youngest brother sri ram pandit now uh, when himai was doing his vidya vilas he whenever lord does anything most expert <laughs> he is a uh, lila of uh, being in a school huh? so he was a uh, he was arguing huh? defeating mukunda and gadadhar huh? pandi uh you will not keep quiet you he inside them oh you know with his tarka then he will defeat them then ah uh, ah uh, oh da i don't oh oh da oh da I thank you. How are you? Oh. I thank you. I mean, class is leaving, eh? Okay. Okay. How are you? 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 ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಹಿಮಾಯ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಇವಾಗ ಆರ್ಗಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಗದಾದರ್ ಮಿಥುಂದ he will defeat them then he will defeat his own argument and then he will again establish like that you know bah unthinkable you know they will be blown away anybody will be blown away ah uh, then the this devotees were thinking bah if nimai becomes a devotee of krishna oh his life would have become successful they don't know he is the supreme lord you know he is god of yogamaya no one you know so they are thinking wow what a you know unbeatable i mean unthinkable pandit huh? expert so expert and uh, they used to give him blessing oh nimai you should become a krishna bhakta we bless you you should very quickly become krishna bhakta like that <laughs> so one day uh shivas pandit uh shivas pandit you know sa nimay pandit then he is telling shivas pandit to nimay pandit people to become krishna bhakta they become they study right but if after ready you know, after studying ha huh, writing studying if you if one does not become krishna bhakta then it is a waste you know what is the use waste of vidya education you have wasted your life so that's why oh nimai don't waste time Uh, very quickly 
you start doing Krishna bhajan. Don't delay. No. <laughs> then Mahaprabhu is to when he heard this amazing thing by the mouth of his devotees, became very pleased. Then he used to tell, you are a devotee, by your mercy, sure I will become Krishna Bhakta, I will obtain Bhakti. No? So he was responding like that. This is very amazing. Because Mahaprabhu's Leela Shakti, huh? Yoga Mai, by her influence, the devotees could not, uh, they were all attracted towards him, but why they were attracted, uh, and also what is his Rupa? Rupa huh? He is our supreme worship of our Lord. No? <laughs> like that, they, would, they could not. This one, it was Yoga Maya, no? Lila Shakti. No? Uh, they were attracted to him. But what happened is, after he came back from Gaya, you know, he, he went to Gaya to do the, it's a tradition in India, to forefathers, you know, when they pass as father, they go to Gaya and then they do some things. Huh? Then there he met, met um, Ishwara Puri, took Diksha. Then when he came back, he was Prema Unmata, you know, Krishna Prem, he was floating. I mean, it was, he was losing out entire, all his Bow, body, everything. No? So, uh, it, it will be something amazing because before he went, he was like a pundit. Oh, amazing. I mean, unchallengeable pundit. Everybody was, asleep. but now he has become like a madman. Mad, you know, what? No, what? what has happened? It was so nice. Maybe he has got some disease. <laughs> so, Mother Sachi is thinking, Sachi Mata also could not understand. He's thinking there is some Vayu Roga, meaning there is a disturbance in the Vayu. You know, here, uh, you know, we have in Ayurveda, Tridosha, right? Vata, Pitta, Kapha, Vata, uh, Vayu. Uh, Pitta, Kapha. So, this Vata. That's what makes him one, you know, like that. She is thinking like that. So she was a uh, little uh, not happy, huh? unhappy. Then, when Srivast Pandit went to see Mahaprabhu, huh? then Mahaprabhu is telling Srivast Pandit, Oh, Srivast, everybody is telling that I've been afflicted with this disease, no? uh, a vayu. No? Uh, they are thinking, you know, please tell me what is your opinion? Am I afflicted by this vayu roga, vayu disease, you know? imbalance of imbalance of vayu, you know? air, air element. Then Srivas Pandit, he started laughing and telling it. <laughs> what is telling? Tomaya Jem Matu Vai Tamara Ami Chai. Maha Bhakti Yog Deki Toma Shari Sri Krishna Anugraha Aila Tomare. Meaning saying uh, the disease that we have, that disturbance and imbalance in Vayu. I would also like to have that disease. <laughs> it's like, I say there is Maha Bhakti, great Bhakti has shown up in our you know, great qualities of great Bhakti in your body. Then definitely Lord Krishna has showed you mercy on you. Huh? Krishna's you know, Anugraha is there on you. 
So then Mahaprabhu hearing Srivas Pandit, then he Srivas Pandit, you know, he embraced Srivas Pandit. And he's telling, if you also tell me, if you have also told me that I am also afflicted with Vayu disease, you know what I would have done? I will go and jump into Ganga and give up my life. I would have done that. <laughs> so, like that, you know. So, then, uh, so Mahaprabhu started hmm, Sankirtan in Srivas Sangha, no? in Srivas house, no, all night. No? Then one day, uh, uh, the other people were not tolerant. You know? See, in Dham, see, this is the question. Dham, Navadit Dham, everybody should appreciate the budget Kirtan, right? Is it not? But no, no. So that's why you have, you have to this question that what uh, Jiva Goswami writes to Nityananda Prabhu. You know, there will be people there who are appear to be on the dam, but they are not. They are not touching the dam. You know? If they touch the dam, finished, they will become, they will start crying. Tears flowing their eyes. You know? So, um, that is also there actually for conditioned souls like hers. You know? So uh, whatever the Lord does is perfect. You know, at least I am convinced of the, no no questions. <laughs> it's perfect in, in no matter what the way you look at it, it remains perfect. To the extent we see perfection in him. We become perfect. You know, if you find fault in him, we become, you know, there will be a lot of fault in us. Okay? So we become perfect by his perfect. You know? Understanding is perfect. So this is what it is. So, um, but the uh, people were. Hey, see, if you start doing all this, you will complain to the local king and then there will be so much, you know, punishment to you, like that they were threatening. And she was simple mind, right? Vaishnavas are simple in the heart. So he became fearful of that. So he started praying to Narsingha Dev. Huh? Then Mahaprabhu, of course, he came to know, you know, she was closed his doors and started worshipping Narsingha Narsimha. Uh, Narsimha Jai Jai Pralada Jai Jai Pralada Jai Jai Narsimha Jai Jai Narsimha Jai Jai Pralada Jai Jai Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Narsimha Ya Namaste Jaste Jase Avirar Virbhava Vajranaka Vajranaka Karma Kaya Randa uh, like that. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu understood and then he took the form of you know, singers, you know. <laughs> he appeared at the door of Shiva's Pandit and then with his, uh, you know, legs, you know, he's trying to break open the door. Huh? Then appear inside and ask him. Whom are you worshipping? Whom are you, you know, doing prarthana, huh? prayers? That is, that is myself, you know, like that. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu showed his, his nursing of form to everybody there, you know, whole family. Chak Shanka Chakra Gadapadma. So Shanka Chakra Gada Padma is always with Krishna also, right? In his lotus feet, always there. But in the Vishnu Param Narsimha form, what happens? They will come to his hand, right? <laughs> you know, that is thing. <laughs> so uh, Mahaprabhu, uh, he showed um, such an amazing thing that Srivas Pandit 
praying and then uh, uh, he fell no unconscious you know uh, so like that he was very very dear to sivas pandit huh? when sivas pandit also when nityananda prabhu came first time to see when he was in going around you know he met uh, madhavendra puri yeah ishwar puri lakshmipati tirtha you know he said this is a devotee you know, initiated by lakshmipati tirtha then madhavendra puri you know associated and then and he saw madhavendra puri dev and they each other for so many hours they fell both of them unconscious so many hours no? so then he came to vrindavan he was crying <laughs> can i can i can i can i where are you where are you because all the cows and you know he could not control it then the itra voice came so brother has appeared as Gorang Mahaprabhu, now the God with him. So he came, ran, and then he did not come in front of Gorang Mahaprabhu directly. He hired huh? uh, Nandan Acharya Bhavan, huh? Nandan Acharya. Then uh, of course Chaitanya Mahaprabhu understood. He told them devotees, go and search for a Maha Bhagavat. And he had appeared. You know? <laughs> then they could not find anything so he himself brought all the devotees and uh, when they saw each other you know tears flowing from each other and they ran to each other you know, like that that time uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu is telling shrivas pandit to recite a shloka from shrimad bhagavatam you know? then he started telling varha pidam natavara hoy opu karnayo karnikara that the sri krishna when he entering the forest how the gopis are feeling no he has a no peacock feather and wonderful flowers in his ears no pajanti mala and flute huh? only when he, when nithyan the hard days he fell onto the ground he unconscious so then nithyan the uh, gorang mahapru dragged him on his lap huh? and testifying huh? like that one day uh, gorang mahapru told nithyan to do vyasa puja huh? then uh then they agreed that it will be done at shivas pandit's house huh? so the the day before chaitanya mahaprabhu showed the form of balaram to nityananda huh? that year and nityananda saw that he fell unconscious huh? uh, then Or Advaita Acharya, I'm just saying, not on, not on, reminding him, you call me here, you call me here, you know. Then, uh, in the next day, in the puja, he was, was telling Nityananda Prabhu, put a garland on the Vyasa puja, right, Vyasa. Nityananda Prabhu uh, put the uh, garland on the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Huh? Then Chaitanya uh, Mahaprabhu showed this child Buja, you know, uh, Krishna from Ram, and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from. Huh? He was amazed. Uh, then looking at the Nishta of Nityananda, huh? He was paid in Nityananda Prabhu, Gauru Mahaprabhu blessing. They will, the Lakshmi always reside in your house. Let Lakshmi reside in your house all the time. They will not 
any lot of things in your house huh? so uh, they were doing in uh, shivas pandits you know especially on day of ekadashi you know uh, big kirtan huh? arivasare arikirtan vidan nrutya arambila prabhu jagatera pra punyavanta sri vas angane pra shubharamba utilo kirtan dhvani gopal govinda arivo rama rama so bah amazing kirtan ah then he showed uh it was pandit's house you know one one car mahaprakash uh for seven prahara you know uh he sat down on the vishnu asana and then he showed to felt to everybody you know? uh he showed all the avataras of krishna uh uh like that he blessed so much he was pandit you know uh, so he is he was pandit it shows how amazing you know how blessed he was pandit one day uh one uh there was a brahmin who came you know i want to have see the chaitanya mahaprabhu dancing like that and uh, you, that boy well, the brahmin was only on milk nothing else you know? but shiva start oh he's very nice you know? so he gave me place then the nrutya started then chaitanya mahaprabhu didn't feel proper you know that uh, something you know strange huh? so then uh, shivas became very fearful then he told lord i lord this brahmin boy then chaitanya mahaprabhu became very angry one cannot become devotee just by following this external austerity you have to surrender to krishna then only you know then shivas put him away also but that boy was crying then chaitanya mahaprabhu also blessed him you know uh, that uh, that boy also so uh sometime uh after is all night he used to go take a bath in ganga they used to play in ganga you know sometimes they used to take bath in the in the veranda you know outskirt of his house so there was one servant of shivas name was dukhi because she is always um, not you know happy no huh? unhappy <laughs> so her name was dukhi but she was making sure uh, all the pot filled up with ganga water you know so that chaitanya mahaprabhu can take that so when she when chaitanya mahaprabhu saw our, our service then he changed her name we are not dukhi we are sukhi we are very happy <laughs> so uh like that huh? uh one time we talk this you no know, i think many times this um, many envious people uh is very unfortunate there was one gopal chapak huh? he was uh brahmin but you know born in brahmin family but you know uh, that way jagai madai were also born yeah? Yeah. Yeah. but because of the association um, so he was also like that 
uh, he was shakta meaning worshiping kali like that but he was not allowed inside so he became very angry and then he put all the things they worship kali like big hindu you know some unholy things huh? in front of shivas when shivas opened his door in the morning he said everybody hey this is what i do i worship kali all night and others said no no so they brought somebody they cleaned up with cow dung and then they threw it away huh? because of that he became a leprosy you know affected by leprosy then uh, he then he prayed to chaitanya mahaprabhu please please you know deliver me then mahaprabhu became very angry and he saying you are a bhakta dvesh you are you are the hating bhaktas huh? mm. i will never elevate him huh? even after millions of lifetime i'll make you be eaten up by this premis for millions of life no? you need she was the bhavani no? like kali worship you have to fall in you know very uh, raurava naraka no? for a long long time you no know, like that you know. but same chaitanya mahaprabhu after accepting sanyas right? and he came back again this gopal chapal approved up, up him now he became very then he told him don't worry we go and ask forgiveness from shivas pandit huh? uh, then shivas pandit forgave him and then he sent him to a devotee who initiated him also by chanting by glorifying vaishnavas right constant vaishnav that's why uh we should glorify all vaishnavas right? now find don't find try to find fault in any one uh this should be our attitude if you want to make progress in bhakti this is one thing you know please never find fault in any one right? everything is perfect you know to the extent we are imperfect to that extent we are seeing imperfection outside imperfection of our imperfection inside of us get it so uh, don't try to fight you know uh, this is my advice you know? not only you know or guru parampara that you know uh, it is because of our past you know something is coming up but we pray constantly uh, so that's why our finger you know like this it comes out outside you know this finger uh, you know three times you know towards us you know, showing as much more than us huh? or in us than others so if we we have to correct our fault this is what bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur also remember we were discussing what the, uh, he recommends he advises uh, the duty of vaishnava to correct himself you know uh, if we correct ourselves whole world will get corrected you know that's <laughs> okay so um so sri vas you see sri vas pande the sound he he forgave him he made him devotee and then he glorified all the vaishnavas he got back he became much more effulgent than before you know see uh 
then the Devaki Nandan is the one who is telling, you know, oh, let me glorify the past Vaishnavas, the present, and the future Vaishnavas also, you know. So, uh, in, in effect, everybody is now on. So, uh, you know, at least in, in principle, in, 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 a, in a sutra form, in subtle form, right, is it not? It is like this. Any citizen in America, for example, or, you know, is the potential of becoming a president, is it true or not? <laughs> of course, you don't want to become a president of this country, that is something else. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, uh, but what I'm saying is potentially, is it not? So, maybe in, if, if his goal is like that, 100,000 years, if that country survives, that is the difference. But again, going after the material, Position is the most inglorious thing, most you know, uh, unethical thing that one can do. You, know? <laughs> you don't want to be president of any country uh, in that sense. You know? Of course, if you can become by the mercy of Guru and Krishna, like Prahlad Mahara, that is different. Prahlad Mahara changed his entire kingdom, he made everybody Vaishnava. So, if your goal is like that, that is different. Huh? No matter what our position is, we want to be, make others Vaishnava, make others happy, yeah? increase their happiness, happiness. Actually, they are not happy, we have to make them happy. Huh? Uh, to show that they are really happy, if you get connected with the most happiest person, then you'll be happy. You know? so, so, like that. You know? um, then, uh, one time, um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was doing Kirtan. Huh? Uh, Siva's house. And Siva had only one son, small boy, small baby. Huh? And in the middle of the night, it died. Then the ladies' house, you know, they started crying. Mother, you know, because they have attachment and they started crying. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there, you know, all the devotees are doing kirtan. So, uh, Srivas came inside and he came to know that his only child, one and only child died. Right? Now, how he should react? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there. See? He said, you forbid the lady, don't cry, don't mistake, you know. No, don't worry, we'll take care of this later. Be happy, you know, don't cause, you know, disturb us. So he came back. And still they started crying, ladies, you know. Then went and told them, if you don't stop, then I will go jump into my Ganga and then I'll give up my life. He has his own son, lost his son. How any ordinary person or anybody it will be devastation, is it not? His whole psychology will be thrown out and he will be so much disturbed. But he was not like not disturbed. Vaishnava, no? Satisfaction of Vishnu, no. Mahaprabhu is the one with the, you know, 
So he told them, if you don't stop immediately, I will give up my life jumping into the Ganga. Then what happened? All the ladies became quiet. Then he came back. Then Mahaprabhu is telling, you know, today I feel something different here. Uh, is everything okay in the house? In Sivas Pandit's house? No? Because he is, nobody is found it. Then devotees were telling, uh, Lord, yes, one and only son of Sivas died. Why did you tell me before? No, 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 he has forbidden now. Don't tell this to Lord Chaitanya. Oh, start crying, start crying. Wow. Then he is asking, uh, uh, is anybody you know, unhappy here? Oh Lord, when you are here, how can we, how can there be unhappiness here? He was Pandit is telling. Then when somebody was telling that his only son left, he is not letting us tell you, then he is telling, uh, Oh, <laughs> how can I give up? Lord started crying. When he is so dear and, you know, near and dear gone away, and they don't want to, you know, disturb me. How can I give up such a devotee? So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started crying himself. Then, now oh, take me where your son left his body. So they took him inside. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling this boy, Oh, little boy, why have you left such a great exalted devotee like she was? Huh? Why you want to go You're somewhere else? Then that boy came back to life, he's telling. However many days that I was destined to stay with Srivas. How? I stayed here. Now by your own desire, I'm going somewhere else. You are sending me somewhere, I'm going there. I'm eternally your Uh, no, yeah. Eternally, your devotee, we have no independence. I'm no, I'm not independent. I cannot desire to go here and there on my own. Huh? Uh, I'm a satantra, you know, indi unindependent living entity. I cannot do anything opposing your desires. Please bless me in such a way, wherever I go, in whatever position I am, uh, let me not become, let me not forget your lotus feet. You know, it, Mahaprabhu. So, when Mahaprabhu, when the other relatives of Srivas Pandit heard this, they all became enlivened. And uh, all their suffering went away. Huh? So there is a great teaching we have to learn. Huh? Then Mahaprabhu is telling, he was Pandit, and uh, huh? Malini, huh? his wife. So don't worry. First he was Malini. From now on, myself and Nityananda will be your two children. We will be your children, two children. You lost one, you got one more, two more. No? <laughs> so don't worry. And we will never leave you. This is what is amazing. Never leave you. No? So, Jai Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki Jai Nityana Prabhu ki Jai Sri ki Jai. Now the question comes, in our mind also maybe. Now wait a minute. 
Vivaad Pandit is such an exalted devotee. And there is some jiva, you know, came as a son to us Pandit. What is exalted? Then why he has to leave? Where he is going? What, what, is there any better place than Srivast Pandit's house? You get it? You get this question, right? So Gurudev one time answered that, you know, uh, saying, you must have uh, gone as Manjari, you know, uh, uh, to Golok Kunda. You know. So, because of the, in a very short time, he got the blessing of Navadip Dham. And he got his Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was, you know, went there. Um, and then, you know, Parita. So, Radha, Radha and Krishna. She was also. Srivas Pandit also used to take part in uh, Rati Yatra, you know. Before Rati Yatra, one day before, there is something called uh, Bundicha Mandir, Marjan. Bundicha Mandir, cleansing Bundicha Mandir. See, Bundicha Mandir, Sundarachal. In Bunda, in Jagannath Puri, Neelachal and Sundarachal. Jagannath leaves except two weeks. You know? yeah, two weeks is in Sundarachal. That is Vrindavan. Huh? Remaining time is in uh, Nilachal, which is like Dwarka. Huh? So, before we appeared, uh, Jagannath appears you know, in Rathya Yatra, they want to make the uh, they want to prepare the place so that he can stay very happy. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very, you know, he was, uh, this is one of the uh, best lila, I mean, for uh, sadhakas like us, you know, like he is telling himself is to take broom, uh, is to ask king, you know, servant. Providing. Usually, they used to do, before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the servants of kings used to do the cleansing. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started coming there, he said, No, we will do. Please give us that opportunity. No? So, he used to take the broom, so many brooms, so many things, water, and then, uh, and then he used to inspect, you know, all the devotees, how much dust they have collected. You know, <laughs> still respect. And uh, <laughs> uh, the more one collects, he was more happy. You know? <laughs> so, so, um, so much cleansing. Huh? So, in other words, the heart, our cleansing of our heart, huh? we have to do. What is that watering and then grooming? Now, right? Because with are now, you know, friendly, you know. So, uh, Srivas Pandit also used to take, you know. After that, they engage in the Rati Yatra, you know, bringing. In other words, before we bring Krishna, you better make his place ready, clean, and then try to bring. No, let me bring, and then I will start cleaning, no. <laughs> you know. That is not acceptable. So there used to be seven mandalis, uh, kirtanias, no? kirtanias. So in each uh, group, there is one singer and then one dancer. You know, principal singer, principal dancer. There are so many other people. Guru Danga, seven groups. But it's famous. So Srivas Pandey, uh, he was in the second group. You know? He was the singer. You remember when we told, whenever she was is singing, wherever, whenever Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there, 
I mean, in the house of Sachin Mata, in the dancing place of Nityananda, and um, singing of Shiva, and then in the Raja Bhav, uh, also in Raja, these four places. So, like that. So, he was the singer, and who is the dancer? Nityananda Prabhu. <laughs> Can you imagine? You know, in our bhajan, we should meditate on this. Seven groups. He was singing, you know, and Nityananda is dancing. And in the first group, who is singing? Uh, can you imagine? Sarup uh, Dhamadar. What a beautiful voice. And who is dancing? Advaita Chaya, right? So, uh, first one is Sarup Dhamadar, you know, singing, and Advaita Chaya is the dancer. Second one, Srivas is singing and the Nityananda Prabhu is dancing. In the third group, Mukunda huh, is singing. And then Aridas Thakur is dancing. Can you imagine Aridas Thakur dancing? <laughs> wow, amazing. So much. Then the fourth one, Govinda goes. And then Vakreshwar Pandit dancing. Govinda Ghosh is singing, Vakreshwar Pandit is dancing. Vakreshwar Pandit is dancing. He one time he danced for 70, 72 hours, something like that. Three days, non stop. But, no. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Wow, if I had another dancer like you, I would have taken off into the sky, you know. <laughs> so, uh, then the fifth one, Kulinagram, huh? uh, the entire village, they are singing. And then Nartak is Ramananda and Satyaraj. Now Satyaraj is also. And uh, sixth one is Shantipur, Shantipur. And then Achitananda is the dancer, son of Advaita Charya, huh? Achitananda. Then in seventh one, Pandavasi, they are singers. And the dancer is Narahari and Raghunanda. Huh? Narahari and Raghunanda. He talked about it. Huh? Uh, Raghunanda. Huh? Uh, Narahari Sarkar. Huh? So, you can imagine. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants to dance together, he used to bring all those together. But in front of Jagannath, you have to, you have to meditate this every day uh, when you are doing chanting. Right? So, this is a great thing. You are chanting, then you are remembering this last time. And then yeah, I will be doing the Jagannath Puri Dham, Parikrama. No? And they are taking Jagannath to Vrindavan, right? So if we do this, we will very quickly, we will enable, they will, you know, like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all these devotees, to bless us to enter Vrindavan. <laughs> uh, so one time what happened was, oh, time is up. Pratap uh, Rudra, you know, uh, you know, King of Jagannath Puri, Pratap Rudra, in a Ratyatra time, huh? he was dancing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and uh, he was also watching them. Uh, there is one servant of Pratap Rudra, Harichandan. King putting his, you know, his hand like this on the shoulder of the servant and seeing, watching him. So that time, uh, everybody, you know, is amazing. So by by some chance, he was Pandit King uh, in in front of King, you know, unknowingly, you know, he also wanted to see the Buddhanda, you know, amazing dancing of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is watching that. Uh, 
then Arichanan saw that it is disturbed, it is blocking the vision of king. So Arichanan telling, you know, move, move, move away, you know, Shiva. Uh, it too, you do, you did a couple of times, and then <laughs> something happened. Uh, Shiva didn't uh, tolerate it. Um, he hit him. Huh? Uh, you know, hit uh, the servant of the, uh, the king, right? Arichandan. Then Arichandan became very angry and he wanted to say something to Shiva. Then what the king said, he, he stopped it. Hey, shut up, don't say anything. You know, we are so fortunate, he got a hit from pure devotee, you know, Shiva. Be happy. Don't say anything. You know, like that. <laughs> so, uh, you obtain the touch of his hand, lotus hand. Okay? <laughs> you are so fortunate. You know, I didn't get it. So, <laughs> so like that, he was, uh, you know, stop them. You know? So, um, that is, uh, we have to learn something from this. See, whether some Vaishnavas, whether Gita you know, is actually Vaishnavas cannot do anything bad, right? They cannot bring any. That's why, you know, they are, they are saying, you know, uh, Vaishnava, you know, uh, they are bringing so much. Auspiciousness into the life of everybody. So, whatever they do, it's like Krishna. Whatever he does is sweetness, right? That's why, Madhuradipate uh, Rakila Madhura. They may do Vaishnava, whatever they do. Even if they hate, it's a blessing, no? So, uh, We have to take that. Our Gurudev is to say, you know, if nowadays some uh, devotees, you no know, uh, disciples are there, if Guru says something very harsh, they will leave him and run away. What a, <laughs> he used to say sometimes. We should not do like that. It is our great fortune. If somebody, Vaishnava, chastises us all, see, who can who can we chastise? Can we chastise who is going on the road? Who can we chastise? One who has the relationship, is it not? For his betterment. So we should be we should feel honored if we get chastised. You know? uh, mercy, huh? like that. Then um When uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left to take sannyas, huh? then uh, Srivas Pandit could not tolerate, he could not stay in Navadip Dham anymore. So he left Navadip. Then he went back to Kumara uh, Then Kumara is also the birthplace of Ishwara Puripa. Huh? Uh, then Mahaprabhu has also gone to Sri Hatta, Ishwari Purupa Janmasthan. Then he used to collect some mud there, from there. Uh, then devotees started doing that, so now they have become a, what do you call them, big, uh, uh, little, taking mud by devotees, everybody. It's called Chaitanya Doba, little, like a, Place, huh? Yoga. Uh, then one time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sees that Srivas is always engaging in serving devotees, right? So what he will do to maintain his family? So 
then if you don't do how you are going to maintain then shivas is telling lord uh uh then he says i will fast first day second day uh three days then i will jump into ganga you know my but this was you know then you know what chetan mahaprabhu is telling uh sir uh no you making it no, like he says it can happen that lakshmi might have to go on bag but not my devotees huh uh so for a devotee there will not be any shortage no for him whatever he want whatever he needs will be taken care of you know so chitanya mahaprabhu gave that assurance that's why it is assurance for all of us no don't worry oh if i don't become devotee what will happen to my daily life or this and that you know we have a concern but don't worry you know that's why our priority in our life is to become devotee then other things will be taken care of by itself but if you think my primary goal is to take care of my life and then secondary is becoming devotee or following you know you will always have a problem you understand what i'm saying you know so this is what we have to learn from the teaching of shivas pandit you know the chaitanya mahaprabhu giving that because when we are born huh? i told this our duration of life then duration of life how long we will live right how much education we will have how much wealth we acquire what kind of work we do and the day and time of living this world is fixed because of our past you cannot increase your wealth you have put in your previous bank you are dying previous life that is it no you cannot increase or decrease now whatever we are doing we are putting into the next life bank right you can put in you can uh, you can draw from the previous lives you can put it into the next lives you cannot uh, put into the previous life or you cannot draw from the next you know the next life you get it of course if you do ekadashi flexibility is there hmm? chanting you know so become devotee flexibility that's why we should not concern about that if we do our rounds properly ekadashi properly krishna will provide you know krishna is watching us our guru parampara is watching us don't th- don't think that they are not with her they are fully aware what is happening you know everyone's life you know so some of the other full of truth you know you be very happy to see that we progress so uh, so we pray to shrivas pandit to give this kind of understanding this kind of shakti uh, this kind of blessing on all of us to become better devotees you know to remember his own past you know, leelas and may bless us pancha kalpatu vyasta kripa sindhu bevacha patita nam pavane bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo namaha hari krishna hari krishna any question
no problem for the audio right was it okay yes maharaj everything was okay thank you yeah. okay. any All questions right. devotees hi bo hi krishna don't know pranam show good day um i would like to ask a question so for the neophyte devotee who used to practice in personal like buddhism um and then come into bhakti yoga because we have to engage all of our senses in devotional service and steps relationship and even like the books uh, have a personality like um, um like a, like if a devotee is struggling with those concepts like um what could we do to um to improve <laughs> thank you see uh even in a mundane college for example around the world you can see uh primary school or middle school or anything is there any school where there are no teachers only books <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> right only books and when you enter the school you don't see anybody there right <laughs> Any, or you go to, you know, anywhere there will be somebody or the other. Now, even like one time I was in uh, Europe, uh, there is one small train, you know, not too long, couple of kilometers I think. There is no driver, huh? so you can say, wait a minute, there is one driverless, you know, like a metro, like a train going, there. but behind that. There is a personality who programmed him that machine. You understand? Even even before that, you may not see. Now, suppose you sit in a uh, flight. Are you going to be comfortable if you come to know? Hey, wait a minute. This is there is no pilot. There is no assistant pilot, and uh, the flight is going by itself. You think you are going to? Sit in that plane. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, you know. Somehow there is something. We so this is a like a theoretical kind of thing, you know, impersonal and all that. Actually, there is personality behind day to day life. If you want to learn swimming, you know, imagine a small baby or yourself. There is only swimming pool and nobody else to see around. <laughs> you know, see there will be a, a teacher. They will be watching you, and there will be first aid. You understand? And uh, so many, you know, uh, things around. We may not be aware of it. So same way, uh, the books, our transcendental books, are also personality. You know. Mad Bhagavata, you know, or uh, or the shloka, they are all personalities. So first we pray to them by their blessing. Uh, you know, uh, of course, like uh, that person also had a mother and father to start with. Can you imagine you know, taking birth into a family where you don't see mother or father? What will happen? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the problem with the Maya Vada. You know they are so impractical. You know so Buddhism also Hinayana especially. Huh? So if you find Buddha, you should kill him. You know this is what they say. Unfortunately, so it's very unfortunate. Uh, Prasadam, you know, suppose we take prasadam, how prasadam can it come into it by itself without somebody making it, offering it? And then Lord accepting it, you understand? There are three things. One who cooks, of course one comes, right, cooks, offers it, and then acceptor also must be there. If there is no acceptor, there is no offer, you know, whom, whom we are going to offer, you know. 
there's nobody to accept it. So, uh, so that reciprocation, see, if there is no personality, that's when we become very, you know, unhappy, you know, unhappy. So, somehow we have to give this example and then to show the fallacy in their teachings, understand? Why the fallacies? Madhvacharya I wrote that. Tata Doshani, 100 faults. It doesn't mean that they have only 100 faults. They have millions and millions and billions of faults. No? <laughs> because if, if you do not include Krishna, it's all faults, you know, billions of faults. If you include Krishna, then there is no fault in it. Even if it appears to be a fault, it is not fault. You know? Well, they, in their thing, even appears like something uh, logical, but actually it is not there. So, this is the thing, you know. So, you have to... Uh, even in this program, if, if, if none of you are watching or, you know, <laughs> you know, far on, then whom I'm, whom, to whom I'm going to speak to, you understand? So, this is very, very illogical, you know. Uh, so, in the spiritual world also, you know, is much, much more vibrant, much, much more vibrant, you know. So, everything is alive, you know. The land, the water, Everybody is chinmaya feeling. So, this is what you have to, that's now you have to tell. Uh, you have to show them the fallacy in their argument. You know? Like that. Any other question? Thank you very much. Tom. If not, uh, if not, we will end. Uh, thank you very much. And um, sorry for the sound problem last time. Now I'm, I think I got it right. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Dandavat Paramsara. Next is Sri Radha Krishna Bhajan by Rasa Priya Mataji. Thank you. Hare Krishna, dear devotees, please accept my Dandavat pranams. Uh, Jai Radha Jai Krishna, page 150. Jaya Radha Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vindavana, Shri Govinda Gopinata, Madana Mohana. Jaya Radha Jaya Krishna Jaya Vindavana Shri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Shama Kunde Radha Kunde Giri Govardhana Nalindi Yamuna Jai Jaya Mahavana Shigacha Bam Shibacha Padasa Kanana Yaha Sabalina Quello Shri Nandanandana Shri Nandaya Shoda Jai Jaya Gopidana Chidama Adi Jaya Jaya Dinu Vatsagana Jaya Vrishabhanu Jaya Kittida Sundari Jaya Purnamasi Jaya Abhira Nagari Jaya Jaya Gopishvara Vrindavana Maja Jaya Jaya Krishna Sakha Yatu Jeeva Raja 
Jaya Rama Gata Jaya Rohini Nandana Jaya Jaya Vrindavana Vasi Jata Jana Jaya Deja Patni Jaya Nava Kanya Gana Nati Deja Hara Palyo Govinda Charana Shri Rasa Mandala Jaya Jaya Radha Shama Jaya Jaya Rasa Lina Sarva Manurama Jaya Jaya Ujvala Rasa Sarva Rasa Sara Hari Kya Baba Jaha Prajete Prachara Shri Janava Pada Padma Kure Yasmarana Vina Krishna Dasa Kahe Rama Sankitana Jaya Radha Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavana Shri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna. Nithai Gaura Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Hari Bol, Nithai Gaura Hari Bol. Jaya Jaya Prabhupad, Prabhupad. Prabhupad, Jaya Jaya Prabhupad. Shri Nithai Goprim Nandi, Hari Hari Bol. Hare Krishna, Dhanabad pronounced to all dear devotees. Vanchaka Paturu Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyaya Vacha Patitanam Pavane Vyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha Hare Krishna Sorry dear devotees, I have this cold in my throat and it affects me sometimes. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, thank you Rasa Priya. Next we'll have Ananga Mataji for Narsingha Deer song. Thank you. Hare Krishna Dandavat Pranams, dear devotees. Thank you so much, Vasapriya Mataji, for beautiful kirtans. And thank you for the program. All glories to Sri Guru and Sri Guru uh, and Sri Gauranga. Um, Sri Narasim Hastuti, page 356 in the Gauti Giti book. Namaste Narasim Haya. Namaste Narasim Haya Prahlada Lada Daini Prahlada Lada Daini Iranya Kashi Puvacha Iranya Kashi Puvacha Nilatanka Viva Tanka Nakalaye, Itonisimho, Paritonisimho, Itonisimho, Paritonisimho, Yato Yato Yamita Tonisimho, Yato Yato Yamita Tonisimho, Vahirnisimho, Tridenisimho, Vahir Nasim Ho, Tridhe Nasim Ho, Narasim Ho Majim, Sharanam Prapaje, Narasim Ho Majim, Sharanam Prapaje, Tava Kara Kamala Vare, Nakam Adbhuta Shingam, Dalita Hiranyaka Shripu, Tanu bringam keshavadrita, drari rupa, jajagadi shahare, 
जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे केशव दृता रे रूपा जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे जय नृसिंह हरे जय नृसिंह हरे जय नृसिंह हरे जय नृसिंह हरे जय प्रहार महाराज जय प्रहार महाराज जय प्रहार महाराज जय प्रहार महाराज जय जय प्रभुपा 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 जय जय प्रभुपाद जय जय गुरुदेव 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 जय जय गुरुदेव और नृसिंह देव की जय भक्त प्रहलाद महाराज की जय मीता गोरंगा हरि हरि बोल आम ट्रांसलेशन अफ्र प्रणाम अंत नृसिंह भगवान who gives joy to Prahlad Maharaj and whose nails are left chisels on the stone-like chest of the demon Hiranyaka Shapu. Lord Nisimhadev is here and also there. Wherever I go, Lord Nisimhadev is there. He is in the heart and is outside as well. I surrender unto Nisimhadev, the origin of everything and the supreme refuge. Upon the beautiful lotuses of your lotus hands, your nails, with their amazing tips, have torn asunder the wasp-like body of Demon Hiranyaka Shapu, O Keshava, who assumed the form of a man lying, all glories to you, O Lord of the universe, O Hari. All glories to Lord Nisim Hari, all glories to the Lord Shri Prahlad, who is like a honeybee, always hovering about the lotus like face of Sri Lakshmi Devi. Hare Krishna Dandavat Pranams. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Param. Thank you, Ananda Mataji. Next, we have Ananda Mohan Prabhu, who drive Kivan Kriya. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Param, to one and all. Wish you Guru Gopanga, Gandharvika Giridari Radha, and all the Hare Ji, TJ. Mutilla Pravishna, O Vishnu Paras, Topa Sata, Shishima, Bhaktivinda, Dandi Gosai Maharaj, TJ. Mutilla Pravishna, O Vishnu Paras, Topa Sata, Shishima, Bhaktivinda, Narayan Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Nitya Pravishtu Om Vishnupar Astotra Satya Shishimad Bhakti Vinda Vaman Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Nitya Pravishtu Om Vishnupar Astotra Satya Shishimad Bhakti Vinda Swami Maharaj Ki Jai. Nitya Pravishtu Om Vishnupar Astotra Satya Shishimad Bhakti Pragan Keshwa Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Nitya Pravishtu Om Vishnupar Astotra Satya Shishimad Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupar Ki Jai. Nitya Pravishtu Parma Bhagavad Pragara Shri Shila Gauri Kusar Das Bhavaji Maharaj Ki Jai. Nitya Pravishtu Shri Shila Sati Dhanandan Bhakti Muttakur Ki Jai. Nitya Pravishtu Vaishnava Sarva Dhamma Shri Shila Dhanandan Das Bhavaji Maharaj Ki Jai. Nitya Vedanta Acharya Shri Shila Bhalade Vidya Bhushan Prabhu Ki Jai. Nitya Vishwana Chakvi Thakur Ki Jai. Nitya Narutam Shriva Shamanan Prabhu Trai Ki Jai. Nitya Kutla Skaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai. Kirupa Sanatam Bhata Raguna Shri Jeeva Gopal Bhata Das Raguna Sat Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Sarup Damodash Raya Ramanandari Shri Gaur Prasad Vinda Ki Jai Nama Acharya Shri Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Friends of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasati Gaur Bhakti Vinda Ki Jai Shri Antar Dvip Mayapur Shriman Dvip Bodrum Dvip Madhya Dvip Ola Dvip Ritu Dvip Janu Dvip Modra Dvip Dvip Nuta Dvipat Prakash, Inava Dvipdham Ki Jai. Shri Radha Krishna Gopa, Gopi Go, Govradhan Dvip, Vadash Anat Prakash, Shri Vajamandar Ki Jai. Shri Radha Kun, Shama Kun, Ganga Yavana Tulasi Pakti Devi Ki Jai. Shri Mati Vinda Devi Ki Jai. Shri Pornamas Yogamaya Ki Jai. Shri Gopi Shwar Mahadev Ki Jai. Shri Jagannath Baldev Subhadra Sudarshan Chakra Ji Ki Jai. Shri Chetan Mandar Ki Jai. Sarva Vigna Vinashkar Shri Narasimha Dev Ki Jai. Vartu Pravar Shri Pralad Maharaj Ki Jai. Chara Dham Ki Jai. Char Kumta Daya Ki Jai, Char Acharya Ki Jai, Akar Ma Raja Chitena Mat Ki Jai, Sisi Kesha Vidi Gauja Mat Ota Saka Mat Samha Ki Jai, Vyantarashtana Bhagavatam Ki Jai, Shri Hari Naam Sankirtan Ki Jai, Anantri Koti Vesna Vinda Ki Jai, Samagar Bhakta Vinda Ki Jai, Shri Nitai Gaur Temun Hari Hari Bhav. Thank you, Ananda Mataji. Next we have Ananda Mohan Prabhu. 
Thank you, An An Ananga and Mohan Prabhu. Rajkishore, any announcement, any programs? <laughs>